Shalom and welcome to another episode in our series of Finding Hope Even in the Midst of Trials. Through this week, we have been looking at the letter Peter has written to his church as they, the believers in the church, were being persecuted. He brings about certain encouraging truths of how, even in the midst of trials, we can find hope. The truth we hear today or we, we look at today is the living hope that we have. 1 Peter 1 verse 3 reads, Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So, when we journey through our lives, we all know that we need a lot of hope as we live on this side of eternity. And Peter opens his letter through with these words, and Peter talks about the living hope. Now, this hope, as we read, is not that wishful thinking that we may have, or those wishful plans that we often have and say, you know, I, I wish this happens, I hope this could be this way. But the hope that Peter speaks about is that eager and confident expectation that is alive and active. It is that hope that always helps us to live in that eager expectation. This is what is called that living hope. This is unlike the dead hope we see in this world. The, the reverse of this living hope is what we call false hope. And we know that false hope is everywhere. And many cling to these false hopes, hoping that they can get by or hoping that something or the other will save them. But the living hope that Peter talks about and we have as believers is the hope that is anchored in what, in what took place at Calvary 2000 years ago. That living hope that originated from our resurrected Savior in the person of Jesus. Our hope, that living hope, is based on the resurrection of Jesus. So no matter what our hardships we face today, it's something we are seeing true as what Peter has encouraged, that our future is secure in the hope of Christ, in the resurrection of Christ. Remember that nothing can undermine our hope because our victory comes from Jesus. So whatever we are facing today, we know that the Lord has his final say. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so privileged to be in this living hope, to have our eyes see the living hope that is in the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the victory that you won. Even in the midst of our trials, you give us victory. You have overcome and we shall be victorious in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.